All right, this is always fun. It's Wednesday, which means it's time for Weather School with our in-house professor, Brandon <laughs> Weathers. What do you have for us today? You know, when we're discussing the forecast, we don't always have the time to really get into the nitty-gritty of the maps that we're showing with yeah. different fronts and what they mean. So I thought it would be a good time to just dive into all of it. <laughs> okay, awesome. Let's take a look. When discussing the forecast, we show maps that track approaching weather systems and their fronts. Let's dive into what these symbols represent. Fronts are lines on weather maps that represent the boundaries between air masses. They have either triangles or half moons that point where the air is moving towards. Fronts extend from low pressure areas. They never extend from the center of high pressure. A front is detected by a wind shift, changes in temperature, and changes in pressure. A cold front is a blue line with triangles. This shows the leading edge of a colder air mass displacing a warmer air mass. A warm front is a red line with half moons. So this is going to show us the leading edge of a warmer air mass displacing a cooler air mass. Ahead of a warm front is where we often talk about something called overrunning. This is where advancing warm air hits cold air already in place. The warm air is forced upwards and overruns the denser cold air. The warm air cools as it rises, causing the moisture in the air to condense into clouds and precipitation. Eventually, the warm air cools down enough to where clouds and precipitation can't form. This weather pattern typically brings steady light rain, thick low clouds, and fog or mist. In the winter, overrunning can cause freezing rain, sleet, and snow. Warm fronts and cold fronts are the two most common fronts, but there are others. A stationary front is an alternating red and blue line. This indicates a front has stopped moving. There is still a boundary between two air masses, but the incoming air mass isn't advancing across the region for the time being. An occluded front is a purple line with alternating triangles and half moons. This means that the cold front has caught up to the warm front and is forcing the warm air mass upwards. Occluded fronts mean the weather system is no longer intensifying. A trough is a dashed line, and this isn't a front because it isn't a boundary between air masses. What it is is an elongated area of low pressure. Troughs do show changes in conditions higher up in the atmosphere, and they still indicate where we could see precipitation occur. Wow, that is cool. So as a stationary front, it's, it's not moving. Does it ever then move? Right, yes. So that's why on the map you'll see maybe a front that is a warm front, and then it stalls out, so it becomes the red and blue line, and yeah. then when it starts moving again, it'll switch over. That's awesome. It's yeah. cool to learn what those symbols mean. Yeah, Even we show further. them enough, so I yeah. figured it's about time we talked about yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Thanks, Brandon. 